Hi, this is Tom Oding, the University of Iowa. I'm going to show you an interesting case I did recently with uh, Jason Britton, one of our great third years here at Iowa. This was a patient that had had some glare problems from a persistent medriasis following cataract surgery. You can see that the pupil now in its smallest state is just a little bit bigger than the edge of this IOL. This is a monocular patient and so is having a lot of trouble and we want to do the simplest thing we could to help him. So we're going to just place one suture. We're going to place it superiorly so that any out of roundness from this suture will be underneath the lid. You can see we're doing duet using duet forceps here and a long curved needle with 10 proline. We've got two bites, one at about 10 o'clock and one at about 2 o'clock. And now we're going to pull the free end on one side through the paracentesis. And so now that freely goes through the paracentesis. And now we're going to pull a loop from the other side through the same paracentesis. And now we're going to place a seeps or knot. We're going to pass it around the forcep three times. And then we're going to grab the free end. And then we're going to pull that free end through the loops and then we're going to pull the other side, the other free end, so when you pull the two free ends you can see that the iris comes together and it gets just a little bit smaller. Here it is again in a little bit slower motion you can see how the iris comes down nicely. Now we're going to get, do it again two more times. We're going to pull the loop back out and now we're going to come from the other side just with one pass, grab the free end, pull it through the loop and now we're going to pull both the free ends down and we're going to cinch it down uh, nice and tight. And now just one more time we're pulling the loop through the same paracentesis that the free end is through. We're going to wrap it around one time here. We're going to grab that free end, pull the free end through the loops, pull both free ends down until we've cinched it down nice and tight. Now we're using uh, the duet scissors there to cut the knot off. We're going to remove some of the viscoelastic with one sucking and one irrigating. And now you can see that before the suture, the pupil was a little bit bigger than it is now after. And so far, so good. A very simple way to make the pupil just a little bit smaller. This is Tom Oda, University of Iowa. Thank you very much.